Spilling Lobstering by Jerry Pilata. And the illustrations or photos are by Rob Bolster. Going Lobstering. It was a beautiful day at the beach, and Linda and her little brother Eric were building sandcastles and looking for sea chills. When they looked out at the ocean, they saw a boat, and they wondered what the man in the boat was doing. The first... Ah, they were stuck together. Their father came over and told them that that boat was a lobster boat and that the man in the boat was a lobster man. A lobster man uses traps to catch lobsters. After hearing all about lobsters and lobstering, Linda and Eric asked their father if they could go on a lobster boat someday. Their father decided to take them to the town pier to meet his old friend Big Joe, the lobster man. Their father told them that if they were lucky, Big Joe would take them out lobstering to check some of his traps. Big Joe thought it was a fun idea. The first thing Big Joe did was to show Linda and Eric the boys that float on top of the water and mark the location of his lobster traps. Big Joe's boys' colors were green, white, and red. As they left the harbor, Eric was hoping they would catch lots of lobsters. Big Joe told Linda and Eric to be on the lookout for his boys. <clears throat> Big Joe explained how a lobster trap works. The trap is baited with stinky dead fish, then it is set on the bottom of the ocean. There is a rope attached to the trap so it can be pulled to the surface and checked for lobsters. A boy marks the rope that is attached to the trap. Hungry lobsters are attracted by the smelly bait. There are openings in the sides of the trap so lobsters can climb in. Once the lobsters are inside, the trap is difficult for them to get out of. Linda could not believe all the boys they saw. Eric was amazed by all the different colors. Each lobster man has his own color so he knows which boys are his. Linda was the first to find one of Big Joe's boys. Eric remembered that the colors they were looking for were green, white, and red. Big Joe grabbed his boy. He put the rope through the pulley and wrapped it around the winch. Then he began to pull up the fish first lobster trap. Linda and Eric were a little afraid. They did not know what to expect. Unfortunately, the first trap did not have any lobsters in it, but it did have a flounder. Linda and Eric thought this was a crazy lobster trap. It caught fish instead of lobsters. They pulled the second trap. It had two broken boards. Big Joe explained that they would have to fix the broken boards so the lobsters could not escape through the hole. In the third lobster trap, they caught ten rock crabs, but still no lobsters. Big Joe put bait on the bait hook, then threw all the crabs back into the ocean. In the fourth lobster trap, they finally caught two lobsters. One lobster was much too small, but the other one looked big enough to keep. Big Joe showed them the special gauge the lobster man uses to measure a lobster. A lobster is measured from its eye socket to the end of its back. The other lobster was also too small. Before throwing the lobster back in, Big Joe showed Linda and Eric how to hold the lobster. The easiest way is to pick it up by its body with one hand. Then the lobster cannot bite you with its claws or hit you with its flapping tail. In the fifth trap, they caught a very big lobster. As he picked it up, Big Joe noticed that the very big lobster had thousands of lobster eggs on its tail. Lobster with eggs have to be thrown back into the ocean. Splash, Linda and Eric couldn't believe it. After finally catching a lobster big enough to keep, it still had to be thrown back. But it was the best thing to do. If the ocean, the eggs will hatch and thousands of baby lobsters will have a chance to grow. Linda wondered how the mother could possibly take care of so many baby lobsters. 
When the six trap was pulled from the water, Lynn and Eric were scared and almost started to cry. There was a shark in the trap. It took Big Joe a long time to get the shark out of the trap. In the seventh lobster trap, they caught two lobsters that were big enough to keep. Now, finally, they had some that they could take home to show their mother. Big Joe helped Eric put rubber bands on the claws so the lobster could not bite anyone. Lobsters have two claws. One is a cruncher claw that is strong and dull. The other crab is a scissor claw. It is sharp and quick. Lobsters also have two antennae. They have eight legs. The first two legs on each side have little pinchers on them. They have tails that flap. One amazing thing about lobsters, when they lose an antenna, leg, or claw, a new one grows back. In the eighth lobster trap, they caught 22 crabs, six small lobsters, and four lobsters that were large enough to keep. Claws were snapping everywhere, and Big Joe had trouble pulling everything out without getting bit. In the ninth lobster trap, no one could believe what happened. Big Joe was stunned. He never caught a lobster this big. The lobster couldn't even get its cruncher claw into the opening of the trap. They finally got it out. Wow, it was almost as big as Eric. This lobster was probably as big as the biggest one it ever caught. Linda couldn't wait to tell all her friends about the gigantic lobster. Eric wanted to know if lobsters eat hamburgers, fries, and pizza. Big Joe and Linda laughed. Big Joe told them to remember that lobsters eat anything. They would even eat pizza if they could find some. Soon they were at the entrance of the harbor. Linda told Big Joe that was going lobster was really fun, and Eric agreed. They were back on the pier. Big Joe was happy because he had caught the biggest lobster he'd ever seen, and Linda was happy. Eric was happy. Now all their friends wanted to go lobstering. Going lobstering.